Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be providing a longer term market analysis update for Theta Token. We're going to be talking about the break of support and the formation of lower lows, some key levels of resistance to watch out for, such as this 20 weekly moving average. And we're also going to cover some very key levels of support further down from here that we can look to for potentially buyers in demand to start to step in. We're also going to talk about Theta's performance with respect to Bitcoin by looking at the Theta Bitcoin ratio and discuss the implications of this chart and what and some patterns that we can look to into the next few months with this altcoin. So if you guys enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, by the way, I will leave a link to my Twitter page in the description below. Feel free to go ahead and check that out. I am fairly active over there as well. So to start off here with Theta, I do want to cover the most recent breakdown that we've had losing the support level right around 80 cents. This was a level of support where we saw this initial bounce back here in the end of November, we had a pretty nice move up from this point. Theta bounced by about 15% from that 80 cent level right up into the resistance at $1. And then we saw that rejection. So you can see if I just zoom in here to a daily time frame, that we had the initial retest of this right here in the 22nd of November. And then we came right back up into that level around 98 cents, the previous level of support that held on these October lows and we flipped that right into resistance. So it was previous support, flipped into resistance, we got that confirmation, and then we came back down retesting the lows, and then we've had that breakdown over the last few days, really just forming new lows and giving us a very failed structure here on the weekly to which we're no longer above that level of support, right? We're breaking down below it. We've got the weekly candle closing in about one day, so if Theta is unable to reclaim that level of support right around 80 cents in the next 24 hours for the weekly close, most likely we'll see that confirmation of breaking below support and that will lead me to target some of these support levels further down from here, such as this level I have ranging from 51 to 56 cents. This was the support and the range lows from back here in this consolidation in October and November of 2020. We actually had that little range where we basically had the resistance at 80 cents so you can see that we rejected right here, came back down, retested the support. That's the level that held, and then we got the breakout. So now that we're coming back down below this, the next level of support to watch out for is going to be that 51 to 56 cent region. And I will remind you that this was also a huge rejection point back here in the middle of 2020. This big move up in May had this candle on the weekly chart coming up all the way to this level. And then for the weekly close, we came back down by about 55%. So really just establish this level of support and resistance, and I will be looking out to that level in the next few weeks as our next target if we're unable to come back and reclaim that 80 cent zone. We've also got the 20 weekly moving average, which is going to be this yellow line that is acting as strong resistance throughout this entire bear market. You can see that basically we've had four separate rejections, the first being in December of 2021, rolling over, forming low lows, same pattern right here in March, same lower high structure, coming back down, breaking support. We had another rejection right here in August, and then the one just a few weeks ago back here in the end of October. So watch out to this level as well. It will be averaging down pretty quickly because 20 weeks ago we were at some higher valuations. Look out to this in confluence with the 80 cent level as our resistance. And if you can see, if I were to extend this out, you could see that we could have a retest of that level. Again, in confluence with the 80 cent support, we could see a rejection that could potentially take us back down to that level. Just as an illustration, that would look something like this, where we could expect both of these levels to act as strong resistance, seeing as how they have been for this entire bear market. So I also do want to talk about the Theta Bitcoin ratio, which we're also going to be looking at the 20 weekly moving average. This has been strong resistance on the Theta Bitcoin ratio as well. You can see all of these candles on the weekly chart just coming up right into this level at the 20 weekly moving average and then rejecting off of it and rolling over. We also had this act as resistance over the last few weeks. You can see that rejection right here in the end of November, and we're getting that follow through coming back down. So at this point, I would expect a retest of the lows from back here in May, which is this level right around 370 Satoshis. So if we do get that move back down, I would expect this to hold as strong support, and that would set up the potential for maybe a longer term double bottom. We're just gonna have to wait and see how that reaction unfolds. So as an illustration, that would look something like this, getting us back down to that level. And then maybe then we could have a little bit more momentum to break above this 20 weekly moving average and then start to form higher highs and higher lows. So I hope you guys did enjoy the content and the analysis. By the way, make sure to check out my Twitter page. I will leave a link to that in the description below. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.